Let's learn about loads and boundary conditions in ANSYS APDL. Boundary conditions that could be degrees of freedom, like displacement, temperature, um, acoustic pressure, so on and so forth, or loads, which, which could be forces, heat flux, uh, pressures, or stresses, can be applied to either solid models, like key points, areas, lines, and volumes, or finite element models, like nodes and elements. But it is recommended not to apply the boundary conditions and loads to a mix of a solid model and a finite element model in the same analysis. ANSYS will throw a warning at you, though it will solve the problem, but it apparently doesn't like a mix of applied boundary conditions. Boundary conditions are applied in accordance to the element type. For example, structural element types like ANS solid 186 have displacement, force, and pressure. Whereas if you pick acoustic element types, you can apply pressure. And just in case that you include the fluid structure interface, you can apply displacement to that one too. Or for thermal analysis, you can apply temperature and heat flux or and heat flow for the element type, but there is no displacement. Point, surface, and body forces could be applied to uh, selected entities. So we can apply force, we can apply a surface force, we could apply body force like temperature or uh, mass. You could also take advantage of symmetric boundary conditions in your analysis. If your model is symmetrical and loading and boundary conditions are symmetrical, you could use one eighth, a quarter, or a half symmetry model. But while defining the boundary conditions, you should make sure that rigid body motion is avoided, otherwise ANSYS will not be able to solve the analysis. So under pre-processing or solution, if you come to loads and apply, and depending on the type of analysis, you could pick structural or thermal, and you could find the corresponding boundary conditions for your analysis to apply to the nodes or areas or lines, so on and so forth. This is an example of forces and uh, boundary conditions applied to one of my models. So here at this hole, I have applied fixed boundary condition to make sure that this hole doesn't move in x, y, and z directions. On this face, I've applied symmetry boundary condition. So basically, I'm using a half model creation for my analysis. And a surface force is applied on the surface. So basically, here I have a surface force, but I don't have any surface force applied to this portion. That's why I use a half model for my analysis. So basics of load and boundary condition definition for finite element models in ANSYS APDL were explained in this video.